Cool, my name is Chaz Christensen. I was born October 14th, 1984, in Portland, or Eugene, Oregon, actually. I always rode to and from school uh, and kind of did that. I, uh, I drove a car for two years and I kind of drove excessively fast and managed to rack up 19 or 20 speeding tickets in the course of two years. So they took away my license, they tend to do that. Um, so then I started riding a bike uh, because I had to. I, I love my relationship with Chanelli. It's really cool. As long as I've been riding, you know, obviously, I've been doing this for a long time, but I've had this, like, I want the coolest bike in the world to be this bike. Like, man, I want to build this bike. And Chanelli made that. And then we go to Milan and we, we meet with, like, Fabrizio, and we, we sit down with the designers. And you know, last time we were in Milan for Red Hook, we sat down at the factory for like five hours and talked about like what we wanted the parallax to be. And then six months later, you get a prototype. And it's just like, I thought this up. Like, me and my friends thought this up. And we are paired with somebody that's able to like make it happen. And like, getting those two prototypes was just like, oh my god. Like, it's like a dream come true. So, like, the relationship with Chinelli is amazing. That they take our input and they use it. And then, like, you know, they're also very much like, well, that may not work. And they, they have the experience to be like, it's a really good idea. Maybe if we changed it a little bit, it would work a little better. So, like, kind of tempering our just like street enthusiasm and like the enthusiasm that comes from riding these bikes to forming a partnership that kind of creates a solid bike. Uh, the cap design, yeah, I, I thought it was really cool to be a professional and for the opportunity to design this cap. Um, I am not a graphic designer. I have a very limited grasp of um, designing things on computers, pretty much in the MS Paint. <laughs> um, but I took it as an opportunity to kind of express myself the way that I know best, which is just kind of drawing. And doing I have a zine and I've always been drawing and I'm really into tattoos and like I kind of enjoy that aspect of it. So for me, it was an incredible opportunity to kind of just incorporate a lot of the things that I really enjoy about life and like kind of just, in my cap design especially was a lot of just things that I say and things that I, I feel like ride fast, take chances, you know, things like that and really kind of put that into design and put that out to a different things here. You know, cycling caps kind of have that stigma where you have like your favorite cycling cap and you wear it till it's like sweat stained and broken and everything's falling off and it's gross and it stinks but like you're never going to throw it away because it's like your favorite hat. You know, I have a number of hats that just hang up on a wall and my girlfriend yells at me because they stink and they're gross, you know, and it's just like, well, it's my favorite hat. I never wear it because it's too disgusting, but I'll never throw it away because I rode, did that one ride, you know, three years ago. I won that one race while wearing that hat, so the opportunity to kind of create something like that is really important to me. Um, I met Antonio when he came to San Francisco, um, I want to say like four or five years ago. Longer. Every time him and Alessandro come to San Francisco, they always take the Mashtin out for dinner, and it's, it's amazing, and the first time we were all like, you know, I'm gonna meet the guy from Chanel, oh my god, you know, and now it's just like, it's, I want to say he's like an old friend, but I see him a lot, and you know, it's very much like a comfortable, like, oh, Antonio, how are you, you know, and every time we go to Milan, the two times that I've been there, we've taken tours of the factory, we saw the old factory, and then we saw the new factory, and it was really cool, and they're really, they're very personable people, kind of nice to have this ability to, to be on a friendly level with someone that's kind of of that stature.